this app is a must have for Clash. Welcome back summoners. Today I'm talking about pro comps. Before I get into it, I want to emphasize something right from the start. This is their logo. With a name like pro comps, they did not make their logo a pro comp Soganathus. And this is a missed opportunity. Their pun game is obviously on E, and I felt the need to point that out before I start the review. Do that whole YouTube thing to help my channel grow. We are in the 1,000 subscriber push, and I want you to be a part of it. ProComps is a team-based third-party app. This app specializes in building a team and picking the best champions for that team, depending on the playstyle. ProComps will calculate synergies and help to choose your champion depending on lane and counters. There are even real-time updates during draft. It works for champions and team counters as well. I will be talking about this when I explain the simulator later on. Before you ask, yes, this app is allowed by Riot Games. Because it is meant for Clash, all the overlays and jungle timer stuff would get shut off anyway. So this is more of a strategy and planning app than it is a import my runes and track my CS type app. Let's talk about their homepage. They have a rotating banner that switches like every two seconds, so good luck reading what's on it. A Grandmaster Team testimonial, a link to the comp creator, a link to their Discord, a linked article, and a referral link. If you want to try this app out, use my download link in the description section and get a week of their pro version for free. They also offer a seven day free trial, so you are looking at two weeks free. I am using the pro version for this review. Despite no ads in the free version, to get the full benefits of this app, you will need the pro version. Take my word for it, seeing this screen appear will give you a headache faster than catching Tyson's hands with your jaw. Cards on the table, pun intended. I will get paid 8 euros per download. How much in American? That is ProComp's normal finder's fee. I'm not doing anything special here. I am still not sponsored by any of the apps that I review. There are links to a website called The Hub, not the hub you're thinking of. This is a link to a blog about all kinds of things League of Legends. I am covering the app, not their website, but I will say there is a lot of good information there. Scrolling down, we have a patch tier list which you can filter by role. More on that later. Further down, you can see some pro comps. It's almost like that's the name of their app or something. These team compositions are ones used by pro teams, and you will have the option to open them in Comp Builder, which I will get to soon. There are more links to their blog, but these links are about different playstyles based on team compositions. Let's take a look at their tier list. You can filter by role, and that's it. Now, I know that sounds flimsy considering you can filter by like 15 different things and all the other apps. However, this tier list is not your standard API copy and paste from Riot. This tier list is based on 5-stack pro play and expert opinions. This tier list is unique because it is not based on solo queue win rates. Pro comps is not done there. This tier list also has primary and secondary playstyles, counters, scaling, role flexibility, as well as if the champion is a good blind pick, and info on if the champion was buffed, nerfed, or updated in the last patch. You may be looking at this and thinking, well, too bad, I'm not good with any of these S-tier champions, and I don't want one recommended if I don't know the abilities or the playstyle, especially if you're playing Clash. Well, ProComps has you covered, check this out. ProComps is the only app I have reviewed where you can customize your own tier list. Think of the Flex tier list as like a Build-A-Bear for team comps. Don't like Hecarim in your S tier? Drop that Centaur like you have bad reception. Love slime balls? Move Zack up to S tier. Whatever you want, you can do it. Then later on, you can use this tier list for suggested picks, as long as you have the pro version, of course. Using this tab makes me feel like a skill-capped expert. I like this feature because it gives the user a lot more freedom of champion suggestions, as well as preventing a sus suggestion like a champion you've never played, and a number one pick. I know I compared suggestions in a previous video, but ProComps is dunking on these choices as long as you use the flexible tier list option. I know I mentioned what makes this app a must have for Clash. This champ pool tab is by far one of the best ways to prepare for an upcoming Clash tournament. Let me show you how it's done. I'm going to create my own team, my own Clash team. Here we go. Slimes balls. If you have a better Clash name, let me know in the comments below. 
create a new player and populate that player with their best champions based on the specific categories. You can populate every role, but if you're five stacking, you really only need to populate the role that this player is going to be playing. When you have your team set up, you can take this into the prep phase and integrate during champion select. Pro comps will update in real time for you to choose a champion based on what your team needs and will synergize well with. Keep in mind, you will have to know your teammates' champion pool for this to be most effective, but more on that when I talk about improvements for the app. You could ask him. Hey, I could ask him. This does leave the last pick to be completely SOL, because depending on your comp, you might get suggested a champion that you aren't great with because it is what your team needs. Let's take a look at Comp Builder. This is your offline training grounds. You can play with this all you want. You don't even have to have the game up. This tab is dedicated to giving a breakdown of your selected team composition. If you want to learn about synergies and team attributes and how to play together without dealing with toxic teammates in this game, use Comp Builder. Just pick a champion for each role and Pro Comps will instantly give you information about the strengths, weaknesses, game styles, as well as the playstyles and requirements for each type of playstyle. And there are similar picks for who to choose if you get banned or pick stolen. You can easily swap suggested champs in by clicking on them. The Comp Creator tab is one of the coolest AI type programs I have ever seen. This is perfect for building a team if you don't know who to choose. You pick your team pool for each role in the game style you want as well as scaling. You can even pick specific champions you want to counter. This way you don't have to worry about wasting a ban during Clash. Comp Creator will automatically create five team compositions for you and even justify why it made those choices. When you see a comp you like, you can open that team in Comp Builder and get even more in-depth information about this team comp. You can have your entire Clash plan mapped out before Champion Select even begins, and even then you can get real-time updates to your plan in case you need it depending on their picks. Check this out. The simulator is just like a real draft, but without the time crunch, which is good for me to clip stuff and explain it all to you. As champions get picked, your suggested champions in the middle here will change depending on the role. It will help you choose a champion from your pool that will help you win lane and game instead of blindly picking into a counter. These real-time updates are really cool, and having the option change right before your eyes is showing you that the app is doing its job and doing the work for you. Once drafting is complete, you get an entire page dedicated to how to play and how to win. Obviously, this is theory. Yasuo running it down for that O10 power spike is never accounted for. However, this game style tactics page under Team Insights even tells you how to expect the enemy team to play. The direct enemy comparison for style and scaling cannot be overlooked. And for all you dairy lovers, all you Packers fans, all you Wisconsin natives, you cheeseheads, there's even a level one snapshot for whether you could invade or counter invade. This is an absolutely evil page, like 100% savagery when the app tells you to invade because you're going to catch Ramus with his pants down. This is so cruel, it might as well say, you know, ruin the enemy jungler's day in big bold letters. The lanes and skirmish page is pretty cool as well, showing who wins what fights or what fights are best to avoid. Obviously this is pre-game and if someone gets fed, these all go out the window. The scaling and power spikes by graph is pretty cool. I wish there was more information like based on which items someone would scale, but pro comps can't account for a guy like Zwag doing some sus build comps. I also like the coaching based around objectives. This is especially good in low elo, where after T1 towers, it turns into ARAM nonstop fighting. So this really helps with giving an idea about how to play around Rift Herald or Dragon. And with Dragons being worth a lot more, it's a massive help to the pregame plan. As far as my overall thoughts on this app, I think it is an excellent tool for five stacking and clashing. Clash is by far the most beneficial use of this app. Maybe you play in a semi-pro team or a college league, this app could be a game changer for you. I don't think all of you need to use it, probably just one pro account per team. Having five members all using Pro Comps Pro seems like a little bit much to me, but you know, to each their own. But what about all you solo queue legends out there? Like 50% of the poll I put out are solo queue legends. So here's the scoop. If you are a low elo legend, a gold grinder, I promise you, the reason you are losing games is not your team comp. Pick your number one and do your thing. Your Draven ADC and your Yasuo mid, are, they're going to run it down no matter what champion you pick to synergize with. 
play your best and worry less about them and more about your own macro. If you are new and if you are low elo and you're trying to understand team comps and why picking Udyr ADC is a trash idea, this app is for you though. You can mess around with it to your heart's desire and understand more than the toxic guy in lane. Where I think this app really hits its stride is when you're out of low elo and your matchups start to matter more. Where players aren't inting or making as many mistakes, or when you no longer have a split pushing ADC on T2 towers. This is where you can really use the app to plan your team comp and strategy accordingly. As far as pro play goes, I seriously doubt that a pro needs this app and its information. If you play League for a living, I would imagine you know a lot of this stuff already. But who knows, this app could be useful as a tool for pros as well. There's a link about pros using it on the homepage, so I could easily be mistaken. I doubt it matters either way, and I'll prove it. If you are a pro watching my channel, leave a comment right now and tell me if you use or are considering using this app and why, and I will pin your comments. I have emphasized that I love the app's idea. It is unique, it is powerful, and it is beneficial. Pro comps absolutely get Slime's stamp of approval. The pros of this app practically speak for themselves. Even though I have been, I don't need to sell you on the idea that this is good for Clash. If you cannot see the benefits of using this app for Clash, you need to sue your high school because your ability to think critically is... This app really stands apart from the rest when it comes to the personalization and user-generated information you can get. Any other app, you cannot change the tier list. Any other app, you cannot customize which champions will show up in your real-time suggested. No other app offers this kind of customization and freedom to pregame how you want to pregame. This level of personalization really makes you feel like you have a say in what works best for you. No other app does that. This is getting long, so let's just get right into what I don't like about the app. First of all, there are no ads on this app, which is a great thing. It is fantastic. I love it. But that leaves the problem for the pro version being the real deal and the free version basically being a beta. While it still works for you and there is still a ton that you get out of the free version, the pro version will make your life so much easier. This is not me trying to make some quick cash. This is me as the authority on third-party apps telling you that without it, you're going to break something every time this box pops up. This is how the devs make their money, so I can't fault them too much for it. Blitz has a ton of stuff behind the paywall too, but they're really annoying with ads. Procomps doesn't have ads, so they get some slack there. Virtually every other app that I have reviewed has builds and runes and all that other stuff. While Procomps lacks a bit, if someone picks volley and goes AP instead of tank, you're going to be screwed because pro comps neglects that currently. But then again, if you're five stacking, you should know this beforehand. So neglecting awkward builds is not a major issue, especially considering that pro comps is a pre-game front loaded app. The during game is barren because during flashes, you can't use any overlays anyway. I think another area to improve would be the ability to send comps and builds to your friends. This app is for five stacking and being able to distribute team information to the team through the app could be an incredible way to develop your team and work together in preparation for clash tournaments, especially if you live far away from each other. Boosting the ability to collaborate with your team would be a game changer for this app, even though this app is already a game changer when it comes to third party apps. This one got long, I apologize. If I missed anything, let me know. I'll make a follow-up video. If you like the app breakdown, then you'll like this one too. This app gives macro advice in-game. Don't forget to use my download code for some free time with ProComps Pro. Like the video and subscribe.